Uh, thank you very much, Declan, and thank you, Mark, also, for your very kind words uh, about Japan a moment ago. Uh, Japanese people have always lived with natural disasters, but uh, never on this scale. And without doubt, they and the Japanese economy will bounce back. Uh, however, at the moment, their need is very grave indeed. I'm sure that many of you are already doing things uh, to help in the uh, rescue effort. Uh, our company is channeling its aid through the Red Cross. Uh, there's a website on the Red Cross which is very easily accessible. And I can assure you that anything that can be done will be very, very deeply appreciated in Japan. Um, Hitachi, apart from being delighted to be a sponsor of this event, uh, is a big global uh, engineering company with a wide range of technologies in heavy engineering, electronics, and IT. We have an uh, annual turnover of about $90 billion, uh, 360,000 employees around the world, and we spend about 4% of our annual revenues on research and development. Our roots, I have to say, are very Japanese, uh, but in 2006 we took, our, we took two major aims. Uh, the first was to develop our technology not only for Japan but for the global market, and the second was to make sustainable development the focus of what we offer to our customers. Where my presentation has gone. <laughs> Um, our founder, 100 years ago, wanted to produce indigenous technology to serve the needs of an area of Japan in the northeast dependent at that time on copper mining. Uh, but he first defined the philosophy of the company as being uh, that technology should meet the needs of the community. And over the century of the company's life, this view that technology should meet social needs has come to underpin our global operations as well. Today we use the phrase social innovation to express our focus on providing solutions which help our customers to meet their own goals of sustainable growth. By so doing, we try to create a win-win situation for our customers, for society, and for enterprise. In Europe, our business activities uh, reflect European priorities, those set out by the EU. Uh, firstly, environmental improvement, the low carbon society, the 2020 targets, and beyond. Secondly, the information society. And thirdly, the creation of employment. But in developed markets, uh, the effort to reduce CO2 is the key of what we strive to do. While in developing countries, water, waste, mass transport, construction, and infrastructure engineering are also part of the core. We monitor very closely our own environmental performance, strictly and regularly, in terms of the total emissions of our processes, uh, how much waste we produce, and the life cycle costs of our products. And we measure our success in reducing those year by year. But we also believe that by helping our customers to meet their obligations to society, we are making our own contribution to progress towards these big goals. I'd just like to uh, illustrate this with some highlights from our latest uh, European business offerings. Most visible and well known to some of you will be the introduction of Hitachi's rail and maintenance technology onto the southeastern line, which runs out of St. Pancras uh, to the Kent coast. And those javelin trains have been running now for over a year in service. But we will also uh, be producing new trains uh, in the northeast of the UK to replace the old intercity 125 diesel trains on the Great Western and East Coast main lines. And the point about these is that they, again, will set a new standard uh, being light and fast uh, in energy efficiency and capacity. And of course, uh, they will also give a boost to employment in the UK 
and create a potential export opportunity for UK manufacturing. So the benefits, we hope, will be equally divided uh, between society and customers and ourselves as the paid service providers. In the power sector, uh, Hitachi's capabilities in combining power engineering with IT make us a leading potential supplier of smart grid solutions. These aim to provide stable supply of power and overall optimization of power transmission and distribution systems as more and more renewables are added to the energy mix. Our customers, the power distribution companies, will benefit from being able to deliver electricity more efficiently and reliably from a more complex network of generation sources than the system can do today. The operators will get more detailed information about supply and demand, improving their ability to manage the system and to shift demand to off-peak times. Greater information and control will enable users, whether industry or households, to monitor their usage and reduce unnecessary consumption. Smart grids thus intelligently integrate the actions of all participants in the system. And this will be an enormous growth market in the future. Finally, three examples of IT technologies which contribute uniquely to efficiency in administration, social accessibility, and energy usage. Hitachi's finger vane technology and security software are two great enablers for the development of e-government, electronic commerce, and a paperless and more accessible society. In case you can't quite figure out what that device is, it simply, if you put your finger into a tube or onto the device, takes an image of the vein pattern inside your finger, which is as unique to the individual as a fingerprint and is much more uh, reliable because it cannot be destroyed uh, or uh, changed like a fingerprint. Uh, with this technology, the user simply registers uh, his finger to authenticate a digi digitally uh, signed transaction using that solution without the need for smart cards or readers or complex software. Hitachi is a world, a world leader in enterprise storage solutions. As well as being highly energy efficient, the virtualization technology integrates legacy and new systems so as to save renewal costs while allocating storage space efficiently in order to reduce capacity requirements. Our Echo Data Center technology is also designed to lessen the environmental impact of the exploding demand for data storage and processing. In the world of the cloud, providers everywhere are under pressure to come up with bigger and more intensive data center operations. Whether for new data centers or for the retrofit of old ones, our customers get a benefit of cooling installations, offering up to a 50% reduction in the energy used. We believe that our clients invest in this because they share our commitment to combining business with an improvement in environmental performance. According to a McKinsey study, by 2020, the carbon footprint of the computers that run the internet will be larger than that of air travel. That's why Hitachi has focused on this as an urgent driver for our research and technology. So to conclude, it's very simple, but our big idea is to gear our growth to meeting the desire of customers and society to promote sustainable development. And we believe that this unifying goal is highly motivating for our employees and also convincing to our stakeholders, creating, as I said, a win-win solution. Thank you very much indeed.